I have a ton of discs, but let's face it, most of them are, well, they're just garbage and never get used. Well, we're going to change all that. We're building a total garbage bin. Hi, this is David Salee, and extensive research has gone into the development of this, well, garbage bag. Now, while it would be easy to just select a random mold that nobody likes and just have that fill the entire bag, instead, we went with some special rules. Had to have one putter. Had to have two mid-range. Two fairway and two distance drivers. They could be the same mold, but they couldn't be exact duplicates with their attributes. Here's what we wound up uh, putting together. For the putter, we have everyone's favorite heavy, sticky keystone, which, you know, when you think about it, there's not too many putters out there that are really horrible, so it's not that bad. With the mid-range, we're going with a pair of anchors. Now, that's an already overstable disc, and so let's uh, maximize that overstability by making one of them heavy and extra fade, and the other one extra fade and sticky. In keeping with the overstable theme, we're going with a pair of triple X's for our fairway drivers, making one of them light extra fade and the other one roll extra fade. Finally, we're topping it off with a pair of recoil distance drivers, matching the triple X with the light extra fade and the roll extra fade. It's a super overstable bag. It is not going to be a whole lot of fun. But we're going to head out to the course and see how we do. For the B tier tournament with the garbage bag, I intentionally chose one that I thought it matched up pretty well. So this time, though, with the A tier, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to select the International because it's got the toughest courses and I have no hope. So say goodbye to that number one placement and let's start with, oh, Coyote. All right, we have the long par four. So, oh, typically I'm following the wind, either going with a backhand or forehand. In this case, with this bag, might as well go with the light extra fade recoil. I have a feeling I'm going to be using it a lot in this tournament. And we need to switch from forehand to backhand. And we've slid over already and we are going to throw this nice and wide and hope that we get around these rocks. Oh, that's really wide. Oh well, it'll come back, right? Uh, kick off that. Stay away from the OB. All right, well, that is the widest route I have ever taken on this. Uh, we might as well give it a go, so we'll take that sticky anchor and throw it as hard as we can and see if we can land on top. Oh, almost on top of the basket. That wasn't too bad. Uh, 36, all right, well, we'll just elevate this and throw it in with our keystone. So, birdie to start. Uh, used to get an eagle there at times, but not anymore. All right, well, this hole, uh, just going to go with the recoil again and try and throw around those rocks and just basically keep this dry if possible. Looks like it's going to split the fairway pretty nicely and land in, slide. Don't have to worry about it going too far, that's for sure. All right, 266 left. Hmm. Well, um, might as well go with the triple X, sure. And give it lots of flex and see if we can get lucky with this one. Head towards the basket and then, yep, there's that massive, massive fade, but that's okay. Big collection area there, 22 feet. Another birdie. All right, well, we're okay starting. Finishing up our last coyote hole. Uh, this one, you know what? There's not going to be a whole lot of roll opportunities, so let's give that triple X a roll. It should go just nice and straight. If I can just split the roots and go to the left of that tree, so keep it pretty vertical, send it out there, uh, it's going to go straight at the column. Uh, all right, so... 
creativity isn't all that great sometimes. So we'll switch this to forehand. We'll use that massive hook from the light fade triple X, throw it out wide, and hopefully get just a little bit to the left of the basket. Or hook so much it goes to the right of that tree. That's amazing. This disc, it's incredible. <laughs> in all the wrong ways. So we'll just throw it in, stay in. Okay. Very good. So our first par. Our first par, and we'll probably be saying that a lot. We're lots of pars. We'll probably be lucky to get par. But we're going to go with the forehand, slide it over to the right. Let's go with the light extra fade recoil. And we just want to get through there. So we're going to need to ante this a fair amount and ante it right out of bounds. Well, that wasn't quite what I was wanting. A little turn and burn action. I've done that in real life. <sighs> nice to know the game can replicate it. So I guess we'll just throw the anchor down there and get close and take our medicine, which in this case will be our first bogey. First of many, I'm sure. Throw it in a little pro side. It's sticky, so it'll work. Fine. Alrighty. Well, this one, we're going to go with that uh, recoil. And you know what? Let's go with the roll and see if we can get a cut roll friendly bounce or something off the side of this hill. So we'll go just a little bit OB, kick over, slide stop. Very nice. And 57 feet. Well, we should be able to throw this in. So starting to get the hang of that keystone. I do like the fact that it goes nice and straight. So it's a little bit like the fuse action that I'm used to. All right, well. Go with that light extra fade again. Throw it a little wide and just want to get close enough to where we can have a throw in. Uh, let's see if it'll hook back for us. Uh, a little bit to the right. We're going to need it to slide quite a bit. Uh, I think that bush is going to be in the way. And yep. There's also this skinny tree that likes to get in the way. It looks like we're just a little bit to the right of it. Uh, throw this somewhat hard. Yeah, not a, not a hope. All right, well, tap in for par. Could have slid OB again or something. That would have been bad. But that clears that out. So now, oh, we got Frozen Valley. Well, all right, let's go with the roll because we want this to be kind of sticky and not slide too far when it lands. So if it can just get in there and, oh, friendly kick off the rock. Oh, 49 feet. All right, we should be able to throw that in and made it nice and routine. And so we get a birdie. Very nice. Oh, uh, the long ski lift. Okay, well, we're going to have to take the long route <laughs> and just keep throwing. So we'll throw out that uh, light fade. Get some skip. Nope, not a lot of skip on the snow anyway. It's not that great. So now we got to get around that Mando, and so we'll try and use the extra fade here and just throw it out wide. Come on, get some fade. Oh, don't go OB. Don't go. Oh, kicked OB. Oh, how rude. That tree was supposed to save it, not ruin it. Uh, all right, switching to forehand, using the triple X. We'll uh, see if we can get the disc to spike Heiser in here. Going to use the roll just because I'm probably not going to use it very frequently, and I'm hoping that it sticks once it lands. The snow, pretty much everything's going to stick, so... Thankfully, that's not too bad, but there is yet another bogey. Wonderful. All right, well, what are we going to finish off with? Oh, lighthouse hole. Okay. Uh, normally, I use it in a musket, so let's use the light fade and let's take the eagle route. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Throwing it wide. Come on, fade away from that stuff. Oh, actually, that looks pretty nice. Now, if I get a straight slide... Let's bounce off to the right a little bit. Okay, slow down, slow down. Don't go in the water. Ah, oh, all right. 76 feet left. Hey, let's cash this in. Come on, let's make it worth it. One. Oh, yes. There's an eagle. Ah, uh, all right. Maybe we can occasionally get a good shot. Oh, and we actually beat our card. Amazing. Ah, uh, how far down the list do we need to scroll? Oh, just a, just a tenth. Ah, huh, okay. Well, that's kind of better than I expected. Only goal is not come in last. All right, now a lot of fades, so we should be able to throw this kind of wide and have it fade through the center with the light fade recoil. As long as we don't hang up on that left side, we should be okay, so fade. And no, of course, of course it had to hit that, get stuck in the middle, out of bounds. 
177. All right, well, let's use the keystone and just kind of throw straight at it. And uh, it's not accurate, so of course it's going to get us with the little flexy thing. Yeah. Uh, disappointment. All right, another bogey. Bogey start. Uh, the garbage bag definitely is showing its uh, garbageness now. All right, well, let's try this again. Another backhand, switching to the light fade. This time, not quite as much ante. And let's see if we can split those two. Yeah, that's actually the line that I was looking for the first time. Get a kick, get another kick. All right, well, you know, that may not have been as good as the other one, but. All right, so, yeah. Hmm. Let's go with the anchor. We can throw it maximum distance and hopefully get somewhat close, but not too close. Oh, that's probably about as close as we can get. Can we see it? Yep, we can see the basket. So if we slide over and throw a nice high shot, and it stays in. All right. Pretty lucky, actually, on that one. Very fortunate to get our birdie. Uh, this hole, hey, we've already seen it. So should be able to use the same route. Um, maybe, yeah, put it a little wider this time, maybe. Oh, too wide. Oh, oh, it's, yeah. Sure, why not? Another out of bounds. Lovely. <sighs> All right, well, 304, sure. Let's see if we can run this. Give it a go with the roll recoil. And actually, it wasn't even high enough. That was interesting. All right, well, fine. 34 feet. Let's get par. So at least by going in the water, it didn't give us a bogey. <laughs> All right, now last time we were behind the trees a little bit, behind the bush, so let's try and make a little bit better adjustment. And get a good fade, and just in front of that there, that might be a little better. Nope, it's still in the way. All right, well, we can try and uh, just power through this and see if we can make it. Oh, just under the basket, thankfully the wall's there, so we didn't go OB again. You can see we have tons of lag. Seems to be the characteristic of the backwoods this time. Uh, all right, well, I'm still going to take the short route. So I'm going to grab that light extra fade recoil, stick it with the forehand, and have it go to the right side. Oh, lots of lag, lots of lag. All right, and then we're going to go with the light fade recoil again and try and split those trees and make it over the lake or pond. I suppose it's just a pond. It's kind of small. Get up on that ridge. Not quite. All right. Well, 166, it's suggesting the anchor. So, eh, sure. Why not? But let's use a sticky one just to make sure. And uh, almost full. We'll give it a run. Uh, just over the top. Okay. So we probably could have done a little bit better on the run, but that's okay. We are putting it in and we are getting a birdie. So that's kind of nice. And our, huh, you know what? <sighs> Let's go for it. So we're gonna take the eagle route. We're gonna switch this to forehand. We're gonna go with the light fade, slide it over. All we need to do is somehow split those trees and get a fairly decent bounce. So yep, mission accomplished on the first one. Get a good skip. Stop, stop short of that bush. All right, what do we have? 83, if we slide over, maybe we're out of that bush and uh, let's run it. Let's give it a go. See if we can make it. Hey, hey, there we go. An eagle. Nice. It's a good feeling. Oh, and then the worst feeling. Hole two from Frozen. <sighs> okay, well, all, I'm guessing that all we can do is get a uh, par or something on this. So, going to play this pretty conservative. Just try and go from one little snowbank to another. Uh, with the amount of fade that I've got, uh, I'm going to just keep throwing the furthest I can. I got those trees that will help slow it down so it doesn't go on the ice because it just it's going to hook too much. Um, yep, so third shot coming up. I'm going to inchworm our way there. Get a lot of fade, get some skip off that snow. Eh, a little, little bit. That's not too bad. All right, what do we got left? 321, suggesting triple X. Uh, no, I want to make sure that I get there. So uh, let's do the recoil one more time and maybe get close. 
Oh, hitting the post. Very nice. Tap in for par. I'll take it. You know, that's a tough hole, and it's just, yeah, real rough. All right, the other lighthouse one. Now I'm going to switch it from forehand to backhand, and going to try and go with a large flex and see if we can be to the right of those trees. And that's tracking pretty nicely. And now it's hooking. Okay, well, good thing I left it out there quite a ways, so when it wound up left of the trees, it was safe. Uh, let's yeah, let's use that roll recoil and put it nice and wide because it's gonna hook and it should grip on nicely. Yep, there we go. So played that very very conservative, very safe, and get rewarded with a birdie. So that's kind of nice. And only one more hole of frozen to go. What's it gonna be? Oh, this one. This one's actually somewhat routine. So yeah, we can just use that light fade recoil, leave it on forehand, split the trees. Uh, it shouldn't have to worry about going too far or going OB, and since it's a par 4, we should be left with a fairly decent amount. So let's go with that fade again, and yeah, just send it out there and have it hook and get somewhat close to the basket. Yeah, so pretty routine with that one. Of the frozen holes, that may be one of the ones that I don't mind seeing. Get to finish with a birdie, so that's not too bad. Pretty rough start, but uh, we did okay once we got going. And how much further down the list are we now? 13! All right, we have an excellent shot at not coming in last. All right, number seven. I was hoping we wouldn't see this. Oh, great win, though, for it. So light fade, send it out nice and wide, try and keep it nice and safe. And it's turning, turning a little bit. If it gets a skip forward, it should be okay. Uh, no out of bounds. Of course, why not? Um, boy, that's just going to skip off the rock, so we'll switch to putt. We'll try and rotate the world. I'm afraid this is going to go into the rocks, so we'll move it over, grab it, slide it. Yeah, it's into the rocks. Let's see. No, it just kicked up on top. All right, well, 39 to finish off, so we'll lower it a little bit because of the wind and just do some sort of weird hook shot and just totally miss it. All right, well, Double bogey. Sure, why not? <sighs> oh, great. And this hole. I was hoping we wouldn't have this either. All right, well, we have to take the long route. So hopefully this has just enough hook to land in that open gap area. Come on now. Hook more. Oh, don't slide too far. Oh. All right, so we went a little further than we needed to, but we have a lot of hook. So let's switch it to forehand, use that light fade again. Just try and miss that a little bit so it hooks in, gives us a view. Ah, oh, it's going to slide too far. Oh, good bounce, good bounce. All right, 152. All right, well, the triple X does the most fade, but nah, you know, let's use the anchor instead. It's only a short distance, and even if it doesn't fade enough, it should go off that wall. Just angle it in there. Okay, yeah, that's fine. There's a big collection area back there, so it's hard to get into too much trouble. So I guess we're going to take the par. Interesting route. Looks good on the little mini-map. Oh, <laughs> great. Well, there's not any uh, other opportunity for a roller, so let's give it a go. Let's uh, see what happens if we roll this. Uh, we just want to kind of split the columns over there. That looks pretty good if it stands up. Oh, it's going to hold that angle. Oh, it's too bad. It was looking really good. All right, well, right up against the rock, great place to be. So, yeah, not much view here. Going to have to switch it, I think, to forehand. We're going to have to throw nice and high and kind of do a spike hyzer. Yeah, hopefully we get into a position we have a throw. Don't be too far to the right. Oh, it's going to edge up. It's going to roll. Oh, roll forward. Nice. All right. Well, looks like we have a view, so we'll just slide it over a little bit, give us more of a view. And I don't know, what do we got? Triple X? Why not? Let's uh, flex this and see if we can get up on top of the shelf with it. Oh, <laughs> it's going to go right into the wall. Of course it is. And oh, we're edging up, rolling, and right up against the shelf. But thankfully, it's a low shelf, so should be able to just pop this over the top, and away we go. Yep. In for par! Yay! So that finishes off the coyote ones. And now we go on to the frozen. So these will be the last three holes of frozen that I face with this bag. I can feel it. 
So we'll use the roll and see if we can just... Oh, it's going to fade out. Kick off the wrong... Oh, go, Bo go OB! Why not? <laughs> Thankfully, the roll put a stop to it. All right, 35. No, I don't feel like running it. At this point, the bag and the course has just beaten me down. So I'm ready to just get my pars as best I can. Oh, eagle opportunity, though. Uh, yeah, we got to go for it. So light fade, put it in the same sort of position, flex it out a little bit because the wind will take it back. It flexed. Oh, that's way too far. I don't think there's enough wind that's going to push it. Nope, that is going to be wet. Boink. All right. So we'll go to the bank and, yeah, let's go with the recoil. Shouldn't even have to throw this full and let it fade and should be okay. So, yeah, get a nice straight slide. Come on, stop now. Ah, very good. So at least we'll be able to throw it in with a 38-footer. Yes, and that's another par. So not the best of starts we need to get some sort of birdies and we're not probably going to get one here uh, especially with that wind all right well flex this as much as we can get as much distance and if we can get a nice little skip yeah not really it's snow we're pretty tight to the mando as well so oh i like how it doesn't even line you up for the mando it's like oh no just go for the basket honest all right, triple X. Uh, no, I'm so far away. Maybe I could throw it super high with the light fade recoil and just let the wind take it. This time, not take it, OB. Oh, actually, yeah, that's pretty nice. Get a good skip. Hey, you know what? That's not bad. Not bad. 144. We can try and give it a half go. Uh, way to the right and way short. Yeah, at least it dug in. So 13 feet, and it's another par. Pars are not going to win any type of A-tier tournament. But hopefully it will keep us from being last. All right, so we have that eagle hole that we can't eagle. So let's just keep going with the old forehand and let it go off to the right. And then we'll try and go across the pond. All right, well, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, if we slide over, we should be able to split the trees there. As long as we don't trigger any foliage effect, we should be okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, hit the tree. Uh, it should stay up on the bank. Oh, it's rolling. Oh, no, no, don't go to the water. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, nice, 277. Okay, grab a disc, throw it, throw it before any tournament director gets over here and takes a look at where we're standing. Go, go! <laughs> oh, that was so fortunate. So lucky. Oh, and a park job. All right. Birdie. Well, bonus birdie. We didn't deserve it, but I guess the course and game took sympathy on us. Normally, I go right, you know, with a forehand, but with this wind and everything, we're going to go with the far right option. Send it out nice and wide. Let the wind carry it all the way back. Get past the tree. We have 93. Okay, we should be able to throw this in. Just let the wind carry it over. Ah, uh, it's heavy. So, of course, the wind didn't affect it as much. Just to the right. Thank you, wall. Throw it in. All right. And a par. So, yeah, we have one lonely birdie on the card, and that's about it. Oh, we get to finish with this. Well, if ever there was a time to shine and redeem ourselves on this hole... This would probably not be it. But we'll uh, send it wide, clip the tree, and what do we got? We got 49 feet. All right, we can throw this in. I'm going to throw it in. It's going to lift it a little bit, but I'm throwing it hard. And it's stuck. Very good. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother retrieving that disc. Uh, so if you see it out on the course, might have my name and number on it. Don't give me a call. Just keep it. So we finished 27th. We made our goal of not coming in last and that is about the only thing that we really accomplished with that so there is the international an a tier tournament with the garbage bag and i am so done with the garbage bag but it has been a lot of fun and you never know i may find some other discs that are absolutely horrendous and may give them a go so keep an eye out for future episodes with a potentially different bag. And until then, I will catch you later.